Hello crafty friends, welcome to another more bang for your buck video and the second in our mini series on getting more bang for your buck out of the humble circle nesting dies. Today I thought I'd share with you my process or one of my processes for getting from an idea to a card. So yesterday I sat down with my circle dies and played about to try and come up with a card for today's video. And I thought I would do what I've done before and take a small circle die and die cut from some craft foam to create a stamp. So here I have the stamp that I made. It's actually two of these circles cut out of craft foam, layered one on top of the other and then stuck to an acrylic block with some stick glue. And these make great stamps. They don't give you perfect impressions but they give you fun impressions. The next thing I did was I thought, well, I will stamp these in a circle as we're using circles and I'll try getting a whole rainbow all the way around. So I took this circle die, drew around the outside with a pencil to give me a guideline. And then I got my Catherine Pooler inks and tried to stamp a sort of whole rainbow all the way around the outside. And I kind of succeeded. I managed to get 11 circles around there. And then I thought, right, what can we do next? I'll make a mask. Excuse the bell ringing, that's the neighbour's cat, she's come to visit again. So I thought I'd make a mask, mask around the circles and then stamp in them with various colours to create a bit of visual texture. And as I was doing that, I thought, ooh, they're starting to look a little bit like planets or moons. This one here, I think, especially looks like a moon. No, you can't go in there. And then I thought, ooh, I've got that stamp and die that says, here's to one more trip around the sun. So I could turn this into a birthday card. This is like planets going around the sun. And I popped that on there and thought it needs something else. So I added a stitched circle frame that I cut with my stitched nesting circle dies. And for a bit of bling, I put some Nouveau drops on. And then I thought to myself, actually, wouldn't it be good if I could get 12 circles around the outside? Because I know we don't have 12 planets in the solar system <laughs> or even 11 planets in the solar system. In fact, I'm not even sure how many we've got now. It used to be nine, maybe eight, I can't remember. Anyway, and then I thought, let's get 12 around the outside, one for each month of the year, because it's one more trip around the sun, a whole year. And I put that to one side, left it overnight, and this morning I came down and did this. Again, I drew a circle. I marked out 12 dots equal spaced, which is like the hours on a clock. So that was fairly easy to do. Then I picked some different colours and did that. So I've made a note of my colours. And now I'm going to merge this with this and create the card for you. I have got quite a lot of Catherine Pooler inks now. I've slowly been collecting my favourite colours. If you haven't got 12 different colour inks, you can still do this. Just maybe use three colours and repeat them or, you know, whatever colour colour combination that you have and want to use so here we go this is my largest circle die and i've got a six by six inch piece of paper here because that will allow me to fit everything in i'm just going to eyeball it put it roughly in the middle and draw ever such a faint pencil line all the way around now i've discovered with catherine pula inks you can erase pencil once they're dry so that's okay now i'm going to put my hours of the clock on my 12 spots so we've got 12 and 6 9 and 3 and then we can go 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and again they don't have to be exact it's just a guide. Even though I can rub out through the Catherine Pooler inks, I'm going to use this putty eraser to lighten the pencil marks just to be on the safe side. 
I can still see what I need to see though. And now I'm going to work in quarters. So I'm going to do 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And according to this, that's pink champagne, creamsicle, wintergreen and tranquil. And all I'm going to do is ink up my stamp. Stamp it so that the circle overlaps the dot that I've put there, but I'm going to have more circle on the outside of the ring than on the inside. Actually, I ended up with more on the inside than outside, but that's because I couldn't put my head over it, otherwise you'd only see the top of my head. But never mind, we'll carry on and it will give me a slightly different look. So pink champagne is done, now for creamsicle. And all I'm doing to clean my stamp is giving them a little wipe with a damp baby wipe and then drying them with a microfiber cloth. So now I'm going to do cotton candy, chiffon, cummerbund and frosted. And finally, daisy dough minted it's why and 16 candles so there we have our year of planets circling the center and i think i actually prefer them closer together. These are a bit further apart because I put more of the circle outside of the ring, but I think these ones look better. What we're going to do now is create a mask. Now you can use sticky notes for this or you could use masking paper. I'm just going to use a regular paper. It's a bit thicker than copy paper because I don't want the ink to go through it when I stamp over it. So we'll start with our cotton candy circle and I'm going to take pink champagne and stamp a pattern onto my cotton candy. So I've got this stamp that has splatters on it and it looks a bit like craters on the moon. So as I said, pink champagne, and that's gonna go over cotton candy. And I'm gonna hold that still with one of my fingers or one of my hands, and then take that and stamp it over the middle like that, making sure to get a good impression. And all of that is held within the mask. I'm going to keep that stamp and I'm going to go around to chiffon and stamp on creamsicle. So I'm stamping a darker ink onto a lighter circle and that way I know they're going to show up. And I might change the orientation of my stamp a bit so that it looks different from up there. Then we're going to do our cummerbund and what am I going to use for this one? I was going to use hot tub. I was going to try hot tub, I think, because winter green doesn't really show up very well on cummerbund. And then we will do frosted. And I didn't think Tranquil would show up very well on Frosted, so I'm going to use Serene, no, Serenade, Ooh, Serenade. <laughs> there we go, so we've got our cratery texture there. So we'll retire that one and we'll get another splatter stamp. So I'm going to go back to the top one now. This was pink champagne and I'm going to use sweet 16 or 16 candles. 
It's a sweet 16 pad, but I've re-inked it with 16 candles because that's the new version of the colour. And now we are going to go to Creamsicle and I'm going to stamp on that in do -si -do. green but I'm going to actually use cummerbund for this one I'm going to go backwards in colour because it will show up nicely on the winter green now on to tranquil and I'm going to stamp it's a boy We've got 16 candles. And I was thinking I'm going to stamp on that in pixie dust because it needs a bit more darkness than frosted can give it, I think. Oh, I did that wrong, but never mind. I'm, I'm losing the plot now. <laughs> it doesn't matter that those look completely identical, but never mind. I did the right colour, just the wrong stamp. However, what I can do is a bit more stamping. This is the third mixed media splatter stamp and I'll just add a few extra splatters in there to make it look a little bit different. There we go, I think that's where. So now we go on to do -si do and I, I'm in a bit of a quandary because I've added Coral Cabana on top of do -si do but it just looks so bright. I did try stamping off and it didn't work particularly well, but I'll, I'll give it a go again and see if I can get a lighter second generation stamp. See, yeah, I could. Let's do that. Take a bit off. Oh, there's hair everywhere. Where's it coming from? Yeah, that'll do. I think that works. I think that's less bold than that one there. And I'm going to stamp on that with chiffon because I think that will show up okay. And now we've got one left, which is It's a Boy. And I'm going to stamp on that in, I think, Cummerbund. I think I will do Cummerbund on that one. So there we have our six by six inch circle of planets or months of the year. This could be summer, couldn't it, with the uh, warm colours and then we're into winter, which is the cold colours. And I know the Earth travels around the sun in an ellipse, but artistic licence. So now all I need to do is cut this ring and cut this sentiment. So I've got two sticky notes here. These are sticky across 80% of their back, so they're great for holding these larger dies in place. And I've put two of my stitch circle dies there with an equal gap around the middle. And I'm gonna cut that in my cuttle bug. No, I'm not, because I haven't made it big enough. I'll use that bit. So I've got my ring there. And I just wanted to say that that is so pretty with all those different colours on it. I'm going to have to try and think of a way of using that. To attach my circle frame, I'm going to add ever such a little bit of glue there. Now I can put this on here. Again, just eyeball it. doesn't matter what the measurements are. If it looks right, it looks right. So I'm stamping the sentiment in black ink because I think black ink will stand out really well amongst all that colour and I'll die cut it using this die. So I've uh, got my stamped and die cut sentiment here. I'm going to pop it roughly in the middle. I do want to get it straight though. And now for some Gold Nouveau drops. I'm going to add them in a diagonal across the front of the card. 
if you want to carry on the sun solar system theme these could be asteroids or comets flying through the sky <laughs> so there we go another card created with circle dies and we went from this evolving idea to this color palette and splatter pattern hours on the clock months of the year design so from 11 circles to 12 circles to finally this and i'm really pleased with the way this has turned out i think i do like the slightly more brighter colors on here but i do like the pastel rainbow as well i think you've either got to go all bright or all pastel because this is a bit of a mix of pastel and brights and some of the stamping is a bit attention grabbing when it shouldn't really be but that's it i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it's given you another few ideas of things you can do with your nesting circle dies if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments and i will see you back here very soon thanks for watching bye for now